Hi everyone, this is Velma from Galway Crafty Bits. I have some Christmas journals here that I want to show you. There are two signature journals, so I have three of them here and um, I'll just start off with one. So the cover is made of um, upholstery material to start off with and it is it has kind of a semi hard cover so there's cardboard underneath. I've done lace on the spine and it covers the, the, the sewings and then I have this beautiful um, I don't know what you call these to be quite honest dangles I don't know but anyhow what I've done is I have taken some lovely Christmas ribbons um, some trim thinner ribbons some novelty wool um, what else? I think that's all that's there. Oh yes, and I have also, this is material, and I've added some like vintage buttons. There's a, a little um, bead, it's a wooden bead, and here's another wooden bead. I think they're gorgeous beads, those, and another little one here, and then I've just put them on this small bulldog clip, and basically I just put it on the top here so I'm going to leave it off just for while I'm showing you um, the journal itself and um, now again this can be used anywhere you can you know you could put it there if you want you know there which, whichever you want so it's up to you okay so as I said it's um, cardboard covered with uh, upholstery and it is almost nine so it's eight and three quarters by six and a quarter approximately and the spine then is one and a quarter and as I say there's two signatures in it and these also come with um, a little package of ephemera now I will go through that at the end of the three videos and each package uh, again, it's basically the same. Uh, the contents are the same, but the uh, they may have they may vary in variety. Okay, so vintage lace on the side as well. That was my mother's lace. So open it up. In inside, then I have um, wallpaper. So each them, I can't remember whether they're all different. The, I think they're all basically the same. Again, there might be a very, very varied, might be varied. Okay, so this is a Christmas card. And again, I've tried to use as many Christmas cards or cards in um, decorating, whether they are journal cards or pockets or whatever. So you have a Christmas card there. And on the side, I'll just get something so I can show you. There you go. So there's a little pocket there. That's not the best thing to be sticking into the but no, sorry, okay, so you have a little pocket there, the side pocket. So then you have um a tea dyed lined paper and I have a little cut out stencil there. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it better that way. So then here I have some Christmas paper, single sided, and I have a tab here. This is a velvet uh, ribbon. Uh, some stenciling here. Then this is um, graph paper, tea dyed. And you have a little um, sticker in the top there. This is Christmas paper, double sided. Then you have the graph, this graph paper as well. And it has two pockets, so you have one up here and you have a smaller one here. Then you have um, red copier paper and on one side you have a little um, tuck spot on the side and it's sewn on. So this is cardboard and it's sewn on at the side. Then you have a, a doily and you can, ha you can use it as a little pocket there. You could also, if you want to, tape it down each, e e either side maybe there and uh, glue down here and make another pocket here it's up to you christmas paper with lace trim on the side to make a tab 
a little bit of stenciling there. Then you have some Christmas paper and then some, that's actually um, just ordinary patterned paper, like scrapbooking. Um, then in the middle of each signature, or in the middle of the first signature, you have this um, page that you can colour, you know, doodle on. You know, if you're waiting for a bus or if you just want to, you know, you have time. Spare time, not that there's much spare time nowadays, and you just want to relax, it's a great way of doing it. Then in the middle, you have these two little heart buttons. And then it goes backwards and a stencil there and you have a ribbon um, tab, tuck spot here, your two um, little pockets there, double sided Christmas paper, can't remember, no I didn't, so you have a little, excuse me, and some ribbon here as well on your Christmas paper and then I have the stencil here again and then your Christmas card and on the back of this Christmas card excuse me I have a little pocket there as well so that's the first um, signature now the second signature again we have our Christmas um, Christmas card and on this one I have put a little clip paper clip with some beautiful um, wools, just vint or, or um, novelty wools, just to push it in there. And the back of it, you have your little pocket. You have your tea dyed um, paper. And what I did in this one, I don't know if you can see it there. Now I'm going to lift it up so maybe you can see it. You can see it there. It almost looks like a little. Um, what would you say? A little bird has run across it. So basically what I did with that is I put it on, under the so I sewed it under the under the sewing machine with no thread. So it basically left holes in it and I think it's really cute. So you have your tab there and then you have some music paper that I just sewed around in red and you have a little stencil here. Scrapbooking paper that makes a nice pocket. Um tea dyed paper and I have extra journaling space here then you have Christmas paper and a little bit of um, stenciling here with some Christmas um, material that I made a tab out of you have a little pocket here and this is brown paper it was brown packaging paper and I sewed around it excuse me and I made a little pocket this side then you have your Graph paper, which is tea dyed, and I, I um, cut out, die cut the bottom of it. Then you have in the centre of this one, you have t a two sided Christmas paper, and then you have two really nice buttons. I think they're gorgeous. I lift that up so you can see them. That's your centre. And in each each um, journal, I have these in the centre. So backwards again, you have your scrapbooking paper. You have your pocket on your brown paper with the sewing on it. I have another pocket this side. Stencil, um, a tab using ribbon, uh, which is sewn on. Your extra journaling spot here. And oh, actually, I think I, yeah, I left that open too, so that's a little tuck spot as well. Then you have your pocket with your uh, scrapbooking paper, your tea dyed um, music paper that's sewn around it, stencil on on this with your um, ribbon, Christmas paper, your tea dyed uh, copier paper that has the little. Um, sewing down the side without the thread then your christmas card with your little pocket here and that's in and actually this one has a, a tux but our um, belly band as well and that's the end of that one so the second journal i have is again 
It has the upholstery material on the front. This one has a purple flower on it. It has the vintage lace on the spine and out the front. And it's the same on the back. And then you have your tassel on the top, on the bulldog clip. And basically, it's the same. You have your wooden bead. This one has a lovely little um, um, star-shaped gem on it as well. Your trims, ribbons, a novelty wool. What else have I here? Oh yeah, yeah, and each one has has um, this bead as well. So that's that. So again, I will leave that over to the side. And we'll have a look at it. I'm going to open this up. I'm going to sit down. Okay, so this one, again, I have used Christmas card as your first page. And I really like using Christmas cards. Great way to recycle, upcycle, whatever you want to say. And then here's another Christmas card and you have your little tuck spot on the side. You have your tea dyed lined paper. You have Christmas paper with your um, tab on the side. That's it's velvety um, ribbon. Uh, oh, uh, and here I have this one has um, the the die cut on the on the side of it as well. So this is your sum copy that we used to call, and with a little picture on the top there. Your double sided Christmas paper. Then your graph paper with your two pockets. A big one and a small little one here. You have the um, red copier paper which has a, a, a side tuck and this is card and it's sewn on. Then you have your pocket here and again you can you can glue that down have another pocket here with your doily. You have your another Christmas paper with um, a tab on the side made from ribbon. Then you have a stencil here, Christmas wrapping paper, then your small page of um, patterned paper and then in the middle you have your your um, thing, to, your page to, co to colour with your two little hearts heart buttons and then that goes back the same way pattern paper Christmas wrapping paper Christmas paper and there's so much room here for journaling as well and that's the whole idea I don't want to I didn't want to decorate it too much I want you to decorate it yourself you have your pocket here and your little pocket here as well and the graph paper tea dyed and double sided Christmas paper, your sum copy or maths copy, your Christmas paper with the um, tab on the side, lined paper, tea dyed and then your Christmas card at the end with your pocket. And that one is a nice big pocket too. And then you fold that over and you have a little pocket here as well. Second signature, you start off with your Christmas card again. And you have this little um, paper clip with the uh, wools on it and a bit of material. And this this Christmas card, you know the way sometimes you get that little extra um, page in the inside. And this one has a beautiful one with the scent on it. I couldn't take that out. It's beautiful. Um, then you have your tea dyed copier paper. Again, your Christmas paper with the, um, the lovely velvety tab and a little... Um, stencil. Then you have the tea dyed. Um, what's this called? Uh, music paper. Sorry, and it's it's uh, sewn all around with red thread. Then you have your scrapbook paper, and this ha the scrapbook paper has a big pocket. Then you have the <coughs> tea dyed um, copier paper, and you have a little pocket here. And you can also open that up for extra journaling. Christmas wrapping paper or Christmas uh, card paper stenciling here with your little tab, material tab. You have a little side tuck here on brown packaging paper. So a side pocket here. 
graph paper tea dyed then you have your your central double sided Christmas paper with your two little buttons and then we go backwards the graph paper the brown paper with the tuck Stent, and you have the tuck this or the tuck this side as well you have your um, ribbon stenciling on and it's the most of the tabs I think all the tabs are sewn on little ta a little tuck spot here extra journaling big pocket here on the scrapbooking paper your music paper tea dyed and then your Christmas paper <coughs> then your ordinary tea dyed and then you're back to your Christmas card that has the pocket here and I left the sentiment in it sending special wishes for a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year I just thought it was nice there and then you have an extra page there and that and then you have your tuck spot or your pocket at the back of the card and that's the end of that one now all of these are in my shop shopify shop it's a mouthful and a half and um i have i will have more up as well i just said i'd show three because they're basically all the same in the inside they just have varied um papers in them as in the Christmas paper mightn't be the same or the Christmas wrapping paper mightn't be the same obviously the Christmas cards aren't going to be the same and the covers are slightly different as well but they're all basically upholstery cover with the lace vintage lace on the side and you have your um, um, wallpaper on the inside and it's sewn around as well so that you know it's not going to come apart <clears throat> at any stage again and they all have your um, bulldog clip with all the ribbons and the beads and the, the glass well they're not glass they're more plastic now than glass and the big bead there as well and that's you know that's on every one of them again they may not be exactly the same either but they're they're very similar now so i go through this one i go through this one a little bit faster now because again as i say it's basically the same you have your christmas card actually i think that was on the first one as well and you have your little side tuck your lined paper and this one i have the the um, die cut here on the side christmas paper which are um, velvet tab done a bit of stenciling here your mats or your mats copy or graph paper some people call it Christmas paper and then you have this the graph paper which are um, two little pockets your red copier paper which is your little tuck here that's sewn on the doily that you can you know you can have it as a pocket here or two pockets if you want Christmas paper with your lace tab, a little bit of stenciling, Christmas wrapping paper, um, the just patterned paper, and then you have your central page for colouring and your two little hearts. And then you go backwards again. And you, um, ribbon tab there, doily, pa your red paper, your double little pocket there double sided paper uh, christmas paper max copy paper and oh a little stencil on the top there ribbon on the side christmas paper christmas card paper and uh, your lined paper and then your christmas card at the back with a big pocket here and a little pocket here so the second signature christmas card game with your little um uh, paper clip that has the, the all the nice um, wools on it. You have your side tuck here. You have the um, copier paper with the little feet running down the side that I like to say the sewing with no with no thread. Christmas paper with the tab material tab stencil. Music paper that's sewn round that's that's tea dyed scrapbook paper with your pocket and your tea dyed with your pocket this side and the extra the fold up extra um, 
journaling, Christmas paper with your tab, some stenciling here, a little tuck spot here on the brown paper, a little tuck spot there. And you have your, um, this is graph, graph paper and I have done the T or the die cut down the bottom of it and your central double sided Christmas paper with your two little novelty buttons. They're very Christmassy too. So it goes backwards, graph paper, your brown paper with your two tuck spots. Christmas paper with the stencil and the ribbon sewn on as a tab. You have your little tuck spot here and the extra so or extra journaling spot on your tea dye paper. Scrapbook paper with your um, pocket there. The um, music paper tea dyed that's sewn around in red. Um, you have the Christmas paper with the tab here and some stenciling and. Uh, tea dyed paper with your little um, feet as I like to call them and this one then has the side tuck or a side pocket I should say and then one on the top oh sorry and one on the top and that's basically that's basically it really as I say I have lots more or I will have lots more in my Shopify shop and they're basically all the same you just um, just different papers and stuff like that so on to the ephemera pack so with every journal you get this ephemera pack and I'll show you exactly what's in it I'll start from the back actually so first of all you have this uh, uh, page and it's a kind of a planner page it goes Monday to, fr Monday to Sunday and it has notes in the bottom and basically it's very handy for we'll say your Christmas week and you know things that you might want to write on that so that you won't forget to do them basically I, I always use them because I'm always forgetting things so that's that so every pack is one of those then you have um, like a tab so you could use or tag I should say and this is made this has ribbons on it and basically it's a Christmas card that I upcycled and on the back of it then you can journal or you could use it for maybe um, your page marker whichever you like so then I have a smaller one again it's a Christmas card and the ribbon on the top and you have and this one I have um, coffee dyed paper and again you could journal on it as well another Christmas card I think this one is just beautiful this one I've made into a journaling card uh, it's backed with coffee dyed paper so you know you can journal on that another Christmas card here so this is quite a thick one and um, it has like three layers and then um, you journal on the back and it, everything is um, distressed around the edges as well to make it just vintage looking then this um, card again a Christmas card um, it's glittery and on the back of it there's also um, a picture as well so I just thought it was nice so each each um, pack will have one of those where you have a picture on the back as well another journaling card and this one uh, is backed with tea dyed paper no it's coffee dyed paper another journaling card um made out of a christmas card um just with plain back then you have smaller journaling cards so i really like this one so christmas wishes and you journal on the back it's coffee dyed paper on the back as well um what have I next? Oh yes, this. So this is made out of a Christmas card. And these are so cute to make. So it's basically a little envelope. So you can put whatever you want in there. And then you have a little die cut. And this one happens to be a, a snowman. And then you just tuck that in behind it. 
Now, I, I just think that is just so cute. Um, so every pack has one of those. Then you have a little, small little, um, little journaling card, I suppose. Then you have a tea dyed stenciled um, tag. And then you have an embossed tag or journaling card, whichever you want. And then each pack also has one of these. So again, these are all different. Every pack is different. It just ha basically has the same amount of things in it. And this is a little, um, a little book. This one says Joy and it has all different papers in it. So you have your red copier paper. This is brown paper. This is inked paper. When I was playing with ink, this is coffee dyed. And a little bit of Christmas paper in there. Tea dyed paper, lined tea dyed paper. Um, tracing paper, some music paper and some just patterned paper. And that was it. And I just basically sewed them all together and made a little notebook out of it. And again, that's Christmas card. So that's that's all I have. Um, thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoy this. Please go to my shop, Shopify shop. Um, the link is down below and all these journals are for sale with other journals. Like I have one signature journals that are made out of a Christmas card. And I also have notebook journals that are made out of Christmas gift cards. So please check them out and thank you again so much for watching. Bye.